Hey guys, this is Nia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how to paint lemons as requested by a lot of you from my previous video. This doodle is simple and cute, so let us get straight into it. First off, let's get the shape of the lemon down. If you're struggling to draw out the shape, think of it as an oval shape with rounded points on each side. So roughly draw out an oval and add those rounded tips on the side. Try to go over it again with pencil, then once you get how it feels like, try doing it freehand with your pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect, as you all know, no fruit is the exact same shape. Keep practicing until you are comfortable with this because you will be doing the same thing with your brushes. Now let's get to the leaves. Keep in mind when painting the branch and the leaves that the leaf should be pointing diagonally outwards towards the lemon. So wherever your lemon is placed, the leaf should follow. This is crucial because if your leaves point the opposite direction, it might look a little bit weird or unnatural. I'm going to draw on out as an example. So here, if the lemon is hanging at the edge of the branch, the lemon itself should be slightly tilted. The branch is then connected to the point of the lemon and the leaves growing out of the branches should be tilted outwards towards the light and falling to the direction of the lemon. This might be a little bit confusing because it is basically zoomed in, so think of it as if it's growing out from a tree as I'm drawing right here. So as you can probably imagine, if the leaves were to grow the opposite way and towards the trunk instead of the lemons or towards the light, it would look very off, so always keep this in mind when painting or try to get used to drawing it out first until the concept makes sense. I'll show you as an example here what it would look like if the leaves are pointing at the wrong direction. After you're comfortable with drawing it out, let's get your watercolors out and swatch out some of the colors that we might use. I have three yellow colors on my Koi palette, so I'll just swatch all three which are Lemon Yellow, Orlin Hue, and Permanent Yellow Deep. With all those three colors, I actually like to blend them together to get the exact color that I want. So play around with the ratio or as I'm doing here, I'm playing with the colors and painting the lemon out with my brush and filling it in. So do that and see which color you prefer or mix the colors around until you get the shade of yellow that you want. I also like to leave a little bit of white negative space. It's not thought out into being in a specific position, but this white suggests highlights on the lemon and it makes the painting look less bulky in my opinion. After that, think of a color that is a bit more orange, so you could say add more permanent yellow deep into your mixture and paint in some shadows on the side of the lemon. To do this, pick one side and paint a small part of the area following the curve of the lemon to show the roundness. Play around with the paint. If your paint is completely dry underneath, the shadows will be very distinct. But if the first layer is still a little bit damp, the color will spread and soften up. You'll get used to the feeling with experience and see which one you prefer. For the leaves, I'm just going to play around with the color yellow-green and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of permanent yellow deep to dull down the colors. If it's a little bit too dull for your liking, you can also add a little bit of Orlin Hue which is the second shade of yellow that we swatched previously to brighten up the green because I personally find that the yellow-green looks a little bit too cold for my liking. After you've swatched your colors, try painting the leaves and branches to see what it would look like on the subject that you're going to paint. Last but not least, if you're still unsure, you can always do some exercises with your brush so you could have a better feel to make every single element together. For an example, you can make your leaves in one stroke or several strokes to create more versatile shapes. As for the lemon, if you are still uncomfortable with painting it straight out, you can draw it with pencil first and fill it in, or try drawing out the outline of the lemon with your brush first then filling it in with the color.
just play around and practice with a scrap piece of paper until you're comfortable. You can also use a smaller brush like a fine detail brush for the branches or the stem, but I'm just going to stick with this one for the painting. You can also practice brush control by painting thin lines over and over again in different directions before you paint your final painting. Okay, let's get to painting. As this is just repeated shapes that we're painting, you can either turn this into a pattern or paint it with a border around like I did in my previous video. You can really apply this differently, like even in a wreath. At this point, I wasn't too sure what I was going to do, so I just started painting the lemons to spread across my page and I thought I'd fill it in along the way if I miss some spots. You can follow me and paint along if you want, but of course you're free to create your own art. I'm going to be repeating the shapes a lot, so hopefully by watching me you get an idea of how I approach every single element. I do like to place the lemons before I paint the branches though because I find it easier to spread out and if I need to fill in some spaces, I can just fill it in with more leaves and branches. Typically, I want the lemons to be evenly distributed so it's not too heavy on a certain part of the painting. After I've painted a few base colors for the lemons, I then add some of the shadow color. I don't really want the paint to completely dry before I add the shadows so the lines are not too harsh, but if some are already dry, you can add more water to blend the shadows with the first layer. See how I'm just slightly dotting the shadow color around the sides randomly with the tip of my brush? I'm not doing heavy strokes at this point and it's really fine if every lemon look different. In fact, that's what I actually look for. Notice that not one lemon is directly vertical or horizontal. I place them as if they're hanging from the branches from a tree, so they're slightly tilted in a diagonal way. If the angles are too harsh, it would look um, unnatural. Just imagine how it grows and if it were to be perfectly horizontal that lemon would defy gravity or if you place it perfectly vertically in this case it could happen but the weight of the lemon would somehow bend the branches so hopefully you keep this in mind while you paint. For some variety, I also like to layer the lemons on top of each other so some lemons come in pair of course this is optional though, but I just find it cute. Notice that I'm just painting it over the previous lemon which would make it much easier to paint rather than trying to paint around the back of the previous layer. Once I have a few of the lemons down, I like to start painting the branches and the leaves and see where I go from there. Try varying the direction of the branches to make it look more interesting and if there are any small empty areas you can fill it in with more leaves because I find it easier to adjust the spacing with the leaves and the branches rather than painting the lemons in the middle in case you have a small area instead of, of a large empty area. By the way, if you change the angles of the leaves or how thin or wide the leaves are, it could also change the character of your overall painting. So if you're still unsure about what you want, 
I suggest trying it out on a scrap piece of paper first. Anyway, I think the rest are quite self-explanatory. I'm just going to keep painting this. Hopefully by watching you can understand how I'm approaching this painting. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and I'll see you near the end. We're almost done here, I'm just painting the sides, filling it in with more lemons and more branches and leaves. In the end, I just painted the whole page as if it's framed from a part of a tree with the lemon swooping across the page. Sometimes I just paint as I go, so some paintings can be a little bit unpredictable for me, but sometimes that's also the fun of it. 
anyway thank you for watching hope you learned something new if not i hope it was enjoyable or relaxing to watch have a good day or night depending where you are from and i'll see you on the next video bye